In order for the federal government of Nigeria to achieve its goal of self-sufficiency in rice production and thus replace imported rice with locally produced rice by 2018, rice mills need sufficient amount of quality paddy for processing. To achieve and sustain this, all stakeholders must possess the knowledge of paddy quality checking and must ensure compliance to approved standards. This quality check will help rice farmers, paddy dealers, rice mills, seed suppliers and extension agents evaluate the quality of their paddy against the benchmark of the Standards Organization of Nigeria. Knowing the quality of paddy rice helps the farmer to know what needs to be done towards obtaining better quality paddy. There is no denying that higher quality paddy commands higher price in the market and on a bigger picture facilitates our substitution of imported rice with locally planted ones. If there is a considerable amount of foreign matter in the paddy, then the farmer must pay more attention to threshing and winnowing. The presence of red grains is a direct result of the types of seeds planted. Take a random sample of paddy from a lot whose quality you wish to check. Measure 3 grams for moisture content check and 20 grams for other type checks. Use Nigerian or Japanese spare to take sample from bag. Do not touch samples to avoid transferring moisture. Moisture content check. The handy moisture meter is effective for this stage. Set the mood of your meter to paddy. Fill the sieve like dip in the meter tray with paddy. Insert into the meter. Hold in place by turning the lever and take your measurement. Repeat the procedure two times and then find the average for accuracy. Record your results. If the device displays L as result, it simply means the moisture content of the sample inserted is too low to be measured. Sieving Sieve the 20 gram paddy sample for 30 seconds using a 1.7 mm sieve. Anything that passes through the sieve is categorized as foreign matter. Be sure to shake along the paddy-shaped long openings. Manual separation. Manually pick out organic and inorganic foreign matters that did not pass through the sieve using the pincet, also known as tweezers. Organic foreign matters are immature and empty kernels of paddy. Inorganic foreign matters are other dirt or stones. Aggregation of foreign matters. Combine the foreign matters from the sieving process and those from manual separation. Separate organic from inorganic foreign matters and measure their weights separately. Record your results. Determine the percentage of organic and inorganic foreign matter in the original 20 gram sample. Divide measured weight by 20 and multiply by 100. For this procedure, the weight of organic matter is 0.3 grams. Divide 0.3 by 20 then multiply by 100. Your result should be 1.5%. Your 20 gram sample is made up of 1.5% organic foreign matter. Do the same for the inorganic matter. In this procedure, our inorganic weighed 0.1 gram, so we divide this figure by 20 and multiply by 100. Your result should be 0.5%. Your 20 gram sample is made up of 0.5% inorganic foreign matter. Record your results. Husking. Using the test Husker, Remove brown rice from the clean paddy sample. Fill the husker with paddy and turn the lever in the direction of the arrow. 
Gently shake the husker to remove brown rice. Repeat process until you have exhausted the clean paddy sample. Weigh the resulting brown rice and record your results. For this procedure, the weight of our brown rice is 10.5 grams. Sieve the brown rice for 30 seconds using a 1.6 mm sieve. The rice that go through the sieve are immature and broken grains. Organic foreign matter also emerge from husking. Be sure to shape along the long paddy shaped openings. Manually separate organic foreign matter from immature and broken rice using the tweezers. Take your time for best results. Broken rice less than half the size of a full grain are considered organic foreign matter. Weigh the immature grains and record your results. In this procedure, our immature grains weigh 0.4 grams. Separation of broken rice Brown rice, which did not pass through the sieve, may also contain broken grains. Manually separate the broken grains from whole grains. Because of the large number of grains, we use the quadrant method to randomly select half of the lot for manual separation. Counting grains with problems Put the separated whole grains in the grain counting pan and remove grains not fitted in the concaves. Make sure to fill all concaves. The counting pan has 100 concaves, so you can directly know the percentage of problematic grain types by merely counting them. For this procedure, we have pest damaged grains as 1%, discolored grains as 1%, red rice as 1%. Analysis of results The purity of the paddy is calculated as the sum of one foreign matter, two pest damaged grains, three discolored grains, and four immature grains. The sum of their percentages, that is 1.5% plus 0.5% added to 1% plus another 1% and finally plus 3.8% equals a total of 7.8%. We subtract this figure from a hundred to get our percentage purity, in this case 92.2%. The Standards Organization of Nigeria Purity Benchmark falls between 95% being grade 2 or 3 and 98% being grade 1. Since we have grading of 1 to 3, it implies that our 92.2% pure paddy is out of grade. This method is a quick quality check procedure and should not be used for grading.